All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit about self-love a little bit more. Um, this is a perfect introduction uh, for the new year for 2024 uh, with all these New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. I'm not a huge New Year's resolution guy myself. Um, that's just because I think we should always be making these resolutions to ourselves. I just think a lot of people, um, no, I'm, I'm not hating on you if, you if you made a resolution. I think that's great. I really do. I'm just saying there's like such a large group of people that make these resolutions, especially like being in the fitness space. Um, you see a lot of empty resolutions, you know, and I, I don't want to sound like I'm hating, you know, so, you know, props to, to all you guys as well. But I, I just think we should always be striving, always be trying to make these new changes in these resolutions. But this is a great topic for us to get into. Um, hopefully this video isn't going to be too long. I'm going to keep it short, but this is something that I've learned recently and by no means am I perfect with this. This is just some, some data that I have, uh, acquired and some stuff that I've been learning about myself and about human beings and how we operate, you know, and how we can cultivate more self-love, more self, uh, self-esteem and, um, yeah, just love ourselves more and trust ourselves more. All right, and what this is, you guys, it's called keeping promises to yourself, okay? This is such a huge, such a huge uh, realization for me. You know, I used to be a guy where every single promise that I had was, was getting broke, you know? It was, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't keep my room clean. I couldn't brush my teeth, you know? I like, couldn't eat properly. I couldn't, uh, I mean, the list goes on, you know, uh, as of super recently, I've really dialed in a lot of these areas about myself and, um, it just feels amazing, you know? Um, but this is how you truly cultivate self-love. I've had a couple people comment and ask me, you know, how to do this. How, how do you love yourself more? This is a very powerful one. Um, it's called keeping promises to yourself. So you basically cultivate more self-love and more trust in yourself when um, you basically start to pay attention to what you what you say in your mind, what you're going to do. All right. So the first step is is self-awareness. The first step is learning to basically be become the observer of your thoughts, become the observer to a lot of these um, thinking patterns and things and you know how your how your own mind works, right? So um, basically, an example would be New Year's resolution, right? Or potentially, uh, you, you want to like start running every morning, or you want to start going to the gym every day, you know, keeping that promise to yourself would be waking up and going on that run every day or going to the gym, you know, every day, basically, whatever it is that you set out in your mind um, to complete that I know, it kind of sounds like common sense. But um, this 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 area of life, um, we all fall short in this area so often, that uh, when we actually do these things, you know, the things that, that we tell ourselves, the things that we come up with, you know, these desires, you know, I'm going to start eating better. I'm going to start working out. I'm going to start running. I'm going to start keeping my room more clean, keep my car clean. You know, I'm going to start doing the dishes, um, after I cook every time, I'm not going to leave any dishes in the sink. You know, I'm going to start going to bed earlier. I'm going to start waking up earlier. I'm going to start doing ABC in the morning and then XYZ, you know, before bed. All these things are so important, you guys. And if we get to a space where we can start nailing these things, um, you know, as soon as they come up, as soon as you notice, hey, you know, I, I want to do such and such. Super, super, super important for us to, you know, do that thing right? It's, it's going to get you into a space where your self talk is going to start changing because you start to trust yourself, right? When, when we fail, guys, this is like one of the biggest culprits for people that have low self esteem or anxiety, or potentially even depression, right? Is because they get these things in their head, oh, I want to do this, right? And then they fail, right? That, that kills you, right? That's basically telling yourself, hey, um, I can't do this I can't I, I can never complete the things that I set that I set out to do right so 
it's very important, man, for us to just kind of break this down in like little increments, you know, maybe start small, you know, maybe I, I want to go to bed earlier, right? And then, you know, set that up and, and do this, right? That's, that's one that I'm working on. Go to bed earlier, wake up earlier, you know, more consistently, right? I've been starting to go on runs in the morning. Um, I have a bunch of, of different ones, but this is the number one culprit for low self-esteem. And it's also, you know, it could be the number one tool for building self-esteem and self-love, right? Because guys, when we, when we fail these things that we set out to do, it affects the way that we think about ourselves, you know, because then we have this negative talk spiral. It's like, you don't trust yourself. You don't trust yourself to do things. So then when you try to set out and do something big, you're not going to trust yourself, you know, because you, you keep failing all the little tests, right? So super important, man. As soon as you think of something, something that you desire for yourself, for your life, um, make sure that you're keeping that promise to yourself, man. This is, this is like a, a discipline thing to be like very hyper aware to this stuff. I know this all, this, all this stuff kind of sounds like common sense, but if you're in a space where you're not doing these things, man, you've got to get more self-aware and you have to start you know dialing this into a point of you know being surgical with it right just step by step you know okay I'm, i want to do this boom get it done you know and then start stacking the days you know this is all this is all about discipline you know and, and what do they say freedom is on the other side of discipline so this is all super important stuff man this is this is a lot of the stuff that i've been working on personally you know as my spirituality you know just kind of because this is the area that I that I struggled with you guys for the longest time I told you like you know I just didn't have any of my ducks in a row for the longest time and it was all because I was failing to keep these promises to myself you know I'd set out to do certain things and then fail so that ultimately affects the way that you think about yourself and then you don't trust yourself and then that gets projected out in your everyday life and you basically just out here as somebody who just doesn't trust themselves and doesn't love themselves so super powerful man learn to keep the promises that you tell yourself all right guys I'm out.